Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go set up a custom email address at your domain name. We're going to go into the web hosting control panel through A2 hosting that you have set up, and we're going to set up an email address that can be your name at your domain.com. I'm going to show you how to tie that into whatever email system you're currently using. So it's really easy for you to access and reply and kind of work with those. And then finally, we're going to tie it into a Weber to make sure it is configured with your email list. So your autoresponder follow up messages and your broadcast messages come from you at your domain it doesn't it doesn't not only looks better but it also helps increase your deliverability which is very very important so let's jump in and get this going it's really simple to do the first thing you need to do is obviously pull up your a2 hosting welcome emails and the one that has the hosting control panel is this one that says welcome so you click on that and then we're going to scroll down and you're going to notice there is a site administration one right here and it's got the site administration C panel it's got a username for us and the password. I'm going to hold control and click on the cPanel link and that's going to open our login link right here in another window. Now I'm going to take this username, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in the username field and then I'm going to go back here. You can notice we have a few instructions of how to get our password. They don't email it to us because they want to be secure so I'm going to hold control and click on the here. It opens up the control panel and it's going to show the products and services. What you do is you click on the web hosting product and service. Oh, I clicked on the domain name. Sorry about that. You just click on the gray area, not the domain name itself. And it actually loads the information here for us that we need. This is the password. You can see it's got a little eyeball and it's all kind of asterisked out. When I click on this, I'm going to blur it out because I don't want it public. And then you just copy your email or excuse me, your password. And then you go pop that into the password setting and click log in. So now we are logged in to our domain name and to our, excuse me, our web hosting. And I'm going to close that window and we are going to set up our email account. So just scroll down and all you really need to do is you're looking for the email heading, which is right there. And we're going to use the email accounts and the forwarders. So I'm going to hold control and click on email accounts. It opens that in a new tab. And now I'm just going to add a new email account. I'm going to put info at, but really, truly, ah, let's just do my name, right? Let's do miles at just because. And then I need to put a password in here. You need these passwords to be really secure because um, just better to be safe than sorry here. Go duplicate that password and scroll down. Max quota is perfect. You can switch this over to unlimited if you'd like. Either way, it doesn't matter. And click create account. And that's it. At this point, I've created my name at my domain.com and we're done in this portion so let's go back to the tab here and i'm going to actually we're not done in that tab let me let me show you i run all my email through gmail personally that's just how i like to do it if you use thunderbird Outlook or the mail app from Apple, then you will want to go click on this set up mail client right here. And this mail client is going to show you all of the different ways for you to connect it with Microsoft Outlook, Windows Live Mail, older Outlooks, the Mac OS, all of them, right? They're all here. A lot of them are auto configuration, or you click on the IMAP and it'll give you the exact settings. Um, it tells you, 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 it's really easy how to set this up, right? You get the, the information, you configure it with your mail client, and all of a sudden they just magically work together. Personally, as I said, I use Gmail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a forwarder here. And I want this forwarder, I'm going to manage the DIY sales funnel. And then it loads. And I'm going to click Add Forwarder. And I want to forward my email at DIY sales funnel, forward it to address. To my email address right then i'm gonna click off of it and i'm gonna scroll down here to click add forwarder be sure that this box remains checked if you're here and you use the tab button to leave this area it automatically clicks this one and you don't want that one clicked make sure you've got the forward to email address chosen and it's got your email address that you want it to end at and then you click add forwarder and that's it we have now set it up to where all the emails sent to 
my custom email will go to my actual email that I check every single day. Now, if you go to test this and you're on Gmail, if you send an email from your Gmail account to your forwarder account, expecting it to forward back to the same email account you sent from, Gmail will block that. So if you go test this, if I use my Gmail account to go test this, Gmail is going to block that because they think it's just a loop. They think it's an erroneous email. So you need to test it from a separate email address if you want to test it. Um, this always works. It's, it's super simple to do. So let's now take this information real quick. I want to go show you how to, through Google, through your Gmail, we click on the little settings over here and we go to settings. I'm going to show you how to how to tie this in. So you click accounts and import and you can see I've got a ton of them and the send mail as click learn more and oh excuse me we don't want to learn more that help doesn't actually help us. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and where is the ad? Add another email address. Wow, I totally blanked on that. I apologize. It's at the bottom of all of these. You click the add another email address and it simply wants you to set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up here. And I click next step. And what it wants is it wants my server information and I can get that server information from in here. We're going to go back. Let's click on under emails again, we want to go to the emails, click on email accounts, and then we're going to scroll down here. We're going to click on the setup mail client next to the email we want, and then we scroll down to the bottom, and this is all the information it's asking for. So it wants the SMTP server, which you're going to go ahead and pull as, let's see here, this one at the bottom, outgoing server SMTP. So I simply copy that, paste that in here, it wants my username and then obviously the password that I set up and add account. And it checks the credentials. It takes a quick minute and then authentication failed. All right, let's check this here. So I did not set this up correctly because I need my full email address here. And then the password is and that's exactly what it was. So it did indeed need that not just the username, but the full email address. The username is at yourdomain.com. That's what I messed up the first time. So now it wants me to enter the verification code. I believe it gives me a link. Let's go take a look in here real quick. Go back to my inbox and we will see here in one moment. It's going to actually bring me a verification email, which we will look at in a second. And while we're waiting for that email to reach me, we're going to go in here to AWeber. You can see I'm set up in AWeber. I'm on my DIY sales funnel list. And what I want to do is I want to go to list options and list settings. Now, I believe you maybe set this up before, but maybe you didn't because you didn't have it set up. But really the big point is make sure your address is set up right here. So it comes from a real address from you. And this should be the exact same address that you just set up. You do not want a Gmail or a Yahoo address in here. It will crush your deliverability and deliverability is so important for you long term. So let's go back over here to Google and you can see I've got the Gmail team confirmation. It's just letting me know that I've requested. You can actually see it's to my custom domain name here or my custom email and it wants me to just click here in order to authorize it. So I click that and voila, we are done. I just have to confirm it. And that is it. So right there, we just did it. So in just a few minutes, we've set up a custom email address. We have not only got that custom email address tied into a mail system that we're already using. So the user kind of behavior on our end, we don't have to change what we're doing. We just get to access that email there. And then we tied it into a Weber to make sure that when we're broadcasting and following up with our prospects and our leads we're generating from our funnel, that's coming from our custom email address at our domain. Everything looks super professional, really easy to set up for you on your end. And honestly, being able to manage all of your different email accounts in one space is awesome. And it, I highly recommend it. Just tie it all into one place. So when you need to kind of go in and if you grow and add on a second and a third website, you still just go to one place and you manage everything from there. I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you've enjoyed the entire DIY sales funnel kind of video series that I put together here. If you have any questions for me, you can hit me in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up here. It does help me get the reach out, which is my only goal. And I thank you for your time. Look forward to connecting with you on the next video.